what's up guys welcome to another video this feels really weird because i haven't recorded anything in about five months i stopped making videos in march because i started focusing live betting the nba march april and may and it was amazing i traveled to arizona and networked with a bunch of sharps i learned so much about sports betting and now in the summer i decided to take it off i don't like betting baseball i moved back to columbia set up this beautiful studio but I want to talk about something really important, which is called variance. And the variance is something that you're going to go through, whether in your favor or against you. Good luck, bad luck, good wins, good wins, winning streaks, losing streaks. And we're going to go over a calculator. We're going to see it in action. We're going to see it in real time. And hopefully for all of the new sharps starting their sports betting journey, well, Hopefully this will clear up a couple things and help you understand variance uh, in a more detailed way. Disclaimer, I am not a data scientist. I am not a data engineer. I don't work with data at all. I'm a producer, musician. That is mostly what I love doing, filmmaking, all that stuff. So this is going to be very, very basic. And if I, in any way I mess up or if there's something wrong with any of this, I, I had my friend Elf, who is an actuary, help me with this Excel. So the formula should be pretty good. But without further ado, let's dive right in. Holy crap, that was a long ass intro. What the heck is variance? Variance is ver something very simple. It's basically the deviation from the true average, the winning streaks and the losing streaks in the world of probability. That's all it is. And in order for the law of large numbers to work, you're gonna have to go through many repetitions to get to that true average, right? Let's look for a random bet. Let's say this tennis game over here, uh, Bonaventura versus Rebecca Marino, okay? So we're gonna simulate this bet hundreds of times if we were able to make this in hundreds of parallel universes to see her 100 bets. So we're gonna be doing 20 different simulations in this calculator. I'm gonna leave a link down in the description. All you gotta do is click file, make a copy and the calculator is all yours. And all you're gonna do is adjust the values in this B column. So we're gonna do some examples together. So Oddsgem says that the no big fair odds should be closer to 147.22, right? Which means that there's a 40.5% chance for this bet to hit. So if we are getting odds of plus 160, we're getting better odds, a better payout than 147.22, which is where we get this 5% of expected value, 5.17. So let's input these numbers, right? 147.22. So the no big fair odds, 147.22. We're going to be doing 100 coin flips at a time in this uh, coin flip simulator. I will also leave a link down in the description. Uh, we're going to be doing units of, let's say, $100. Let's say your unit is $100. Let's say you have a $10,000 bankroll. $100 will be about one unit. So let's just round that off and put it 100 bucks. But you can put any, any, you can simulate any amount that you wish. And then the odds that we are getting, right, is plus 160. So we're going to be putting 160 in there, right? So once we open the coin flip simulator, we have to actually put what the probability of heads is. So every single time we hit heads, we're going to win the bet. And every single time we hit tails, we're going to lose the bet. So let's go ahead and input hundred coin flips so let's reset this and we're going to be doing 100 coin flips and the probability of getting heads should be about 40.45 percent right so let's just round it off to 40.40 percent chance right all right so let's run our first simulation let's toss so here we actually ended up with heads 42 heads and 58 tails so let's input how many tails we got which was 42 so in this first simulation we actually got 9.20 percent roi why because we hit head 42 percent of the time because we needed at least 38 percent to break even and we hit it 42 so in this 100 flip simulation we hit a 9.20 percent roi which is we made 920 bucks so let's run another simulation. So let's hit reset, reset the, uh, the simulator and hit toss. So in this simulation, 31, point, 31 times we hit heads. So here we actually got negative variance and we actually ended up losing $2,000. We ended up losing about 20 units. So that is a perfect example of why we require thousands and thousands of bets to get to that true average. In these 100 flips, 
we actually lost. So a beginning sports better might encounter this and they might say, oh, I hit 100 bets and I lost money. This doesn't work. No, you're actually still within the range of what is expected. So let's run another simulation. So let's reset and toss. And we just broke even. So 41 heads, 41 times we hit heads and we actually made money. We made $660 here. So 6.6% ROI. And we're doing the exact same bet under the exact same probability. And you can see all of the different results that you can expect. Let's do it once again. And I'm going to fast forward through this now. 43 head. So let's put that in here. Another example of positive variance. Once again, hit the reset button and toss it. Here we got heads 40 times. So heads 40. We made profit once again. So perfect. Here we are closer to the true average. Let's hit reset and run another 100 coin flip simulation. So we got heads 35 times. So let's put that in here. And here we actually got we lost in these 100 flips. So minus 9% lost $900. Okay, let's do another simulation reset and toss. 35. So again, same exact result, negative variance. One more simulation. So here we got extreme positive variance at the very end, we hit heads 48% of the time. So this is going to be an insane number. Yeah, as you can see, in this simulation, we made 2.4k with $100 units. And we had a 24.8% ROI extreme positive variance. So we can kind of see this as eight different people, right? Let's say eight different people hitting this exact same bet at the exact same odds with the ex exact same no big fair odds. And somebody might experience oh, I made 2.4k. I am the best sports better. This works incredibly. I'm going to continue. And person number two doing the exact same thing could have lost 1.9K, right? So now we see variance in action, right? And this will kind of show you is to not get discouraged when you're going through negative variance because you are within what is expected. You still need to make thousands and thousands of bets to see the actual return, to see the actual expected value. So I'm going to just zoom through these next uh, 12 simulations and we're going to be looking at the final ROI here and the total profit that we actually made. So let's go ahead and do it. And our final simulation, our final trial. Let's see what we get here. 38 let's go so now we have 2000 different outcomes and our final roi is 2.3 percent and we actually made 4.6k with 100 dollars units so key points here and i'm going to repeat this once again 100 flips or 100 bets is not enough to really squeeze out that ev it is not enough you need to get into the thousands of bets so you can actually make sense of this. And it is also possible for you to be person number two and person number six and person number seven back to back. And you could have 300 different weight and you can have 300 different coin flips and you're actually down 300 different bets where you're actually down a lot. But you can also be this person where one, two, three, four, 400 flips in a row, you make money, right? 300 bets in a row you lose money and this will vary depending on the odds the win probability but this is something that i wish i would have understood in this simple way i'm pretty sure there's other ways of explaining this or more complex ways with graphs and all of that stuff but this is kind of like a very basic way of understanding variance don't get discouraged when you're losing and don't get over hyped when you're winning because you're just experiencing variance, whether in your favor or against you. So hopefully you understood something. If there's if I did anything wrong here, please let me know down in the comments. If this helped you understand this, then let me know as well. And 
we're going to be having more videos coming up so subscribe leave a comment and if this is your first time coming across ev betting make sure to use the link down here sign up for odds jam uh, you'll get a free seven day trial and use code sharp 35 for 35 percent off for the rest of your life so if you watched all the way till the end there's gonna be more content coming soon i'm gonna give a little bit of studio tour a little bit of my surroundings i am on top of a mountain and the view here is absolutely incredible i'll probably leave some drone shots in the beginning or here at the end so you can see where i'm at and i will see you guys in the next video peace out